Today, we visit the beautiful Lake Louisa State Park. And we also get lots of sand in our shoes. So join us as we explore this wonderful location. We go here. We go there. We go just about anywhere. Oh yeah. Adventure to anywhere. Are we there yet? Adventure to anywhere. Oh, I just missed the exit. We're going on an adventure. Oh yeah. So one thing we have to be aware of is that there are scorpions at this park. So uh, it's talking about scorpion venom is a nerve poison. But the dose injected usually usually is not enough to kill adult humans. Usually not. Usually, so what? usually not. That that's promising. Look at that primitive campsites. Perhaps we will see some cavemen today. <laughs> it's very windy today, and I hope. That's not getting picked up a lot on the, the camera. So we don't have one of those, what do they call them? Those dead mouses? Dead, dead cats. Dead cats. The dead cat that muffles sound. Who, why do they call it? It doesn't even look like a cat. It looks, if anything, more like a, an exploded caterpillar. <laughs> well, there you go, a cat. Dead. Or a pillar. <laughs> What's really cool about this is you're walking on grass, but like underneath it is like almost get my foot in here it's like sand almost which is just really interesting you are in florida well i know but <laughs> i just didn't expect that like in a part like it makes you wonder is like once upon a time was this covered in water or Probably. i don't know interesting so we have become true floridians <laughs> because <laughs> back in st louis 45 degrees it, while it would have been cold that at this time of year may have been considered somewhat of a well normal yeah normal well, 45 normal. to us feels like maybe negative 15 and we're just kind of used to we've gotten used to the warmer weather and now we're just very very cold and <laughs> i did not dress for this properly so i'm going to be extra cold i got on 15 layers she really does <laughs> have 15 layers on we thought about doing a getting ready montage and show how I put on like a shirt and a jacket and I was done. She has like 15 layers on. I do. <laughs> so once we park the car, uh, there's an immediate trail you can take. And we did that first. But if you look here on the map, uh, it's actually quite a big area. There's the Bear Lake, the Dixie Lake, Hammond Lake, the Smokehouse Lake. I mean, there's just, just tons of stuff. I think there's like a boardwalk area. But we might actually go back, grab the car, and then drive kind of closer to some of the little areas because we don't know how much these connect and things like that. Well, I mean, we have a map, so I guess <laughs> we should look at that. Okay. And the map will tell you where to go. That's probably a good idea. What, is, what does the map tell us where we're going? Where, <laughs> what are, what's coming up next? I think Wilderness Point. Wilderness I could totally be wrong, though. Wilderness Point. I mean, we're in the wilderness. We're going to get to the point of it. <laughs> so technically, we're kind of already there. So I wonder what kind of... Uh, kind of tree is that like kind of like a palm tree or no i don't know what that is i mean it kind of does if you look at the base of it there it, it kind of looks like a palm tree in a way but i don't think it is i have no idea yeah we, we should, don't we don't know we should become true floridians and like learn about this stuff yeah <laughs> just look at how just nice and open this is i think we will have to come back here in the summer and check this out and see if all the trees are grown up or the grasses or you know i don't know it'd be cool be really to see pretty with it being like real green and oh yeah all the flowers and stuff and warm yeah and warm <laughs> we'll wait until next week when it's back in the 70s so i think the chances and i don't know because i don't know scorpions but i think the chances of getting running into a scorpion today is probably going to be slim i would imagine they like warmer climates uh, but I don't know. I'm not a scorpion expert, so kind of keeping on watch out. So what are those those one trees called in, in Hawaii? Uh, 
are you talking about the banyan trees? Banyan trees, I think. Yeah, we did a uh, a video. Um, well, Hawaii Brad uh, did some haunted tales in Hawaii, and I will uh, I'll link that video at the end of this one. But uh, that was one of the things was the the banyan trees um, down there, and uh, yeah, it was very. I don't know if that's what this is, but it sort of looks like one. Very cool. I think it's really important that we show places like this because one of the things that kind of our new mission for our channel is that we want to show that there's more to coming down to Florida than just the parks. Check out this just gorgeous, beautiful view. I mean, it's just, I hope the camera is doing it justice just because it's just so open and wide and beautiful. I'm like, it's absolutely gorgeous as I show all this burnt landscape. <laughs> Sometimes when you come to places like this and you've come here the first time and you just don't know it, these trails just feel like they go on and on and on. It's, it's a, it's a cool feeling. It's, it's, you know, it's an adventure feeling because we're adventured anywhere and that's what we do. We adventure places. No, to anywhere. To anywhere. Anywhere. Adventure to anywhere. <laughs> we go here, we go there. We go just about anywhere. <laughs> oh, yeah! We got little tracks here. I am not a track expert, so I have no idea what kind of animal made those. Could just be a dog, could be, um, could be a bobcat, could be, I don't know. It's a bear. It's, <laughs> it is the world's tiniest, cutest bear. <laughs> He's pocket sized. Now, over here, it gets a little more jungly. Like, I don't think you're allowed back there. I'm sure you could go back there, but that's a go back there at your own risk. I'm sure you're not supposed to. We're not going to. But, pretty jungly back there. Go in there and sing, uh, I'm a jungle man. Yeah, I don't remember the song. It was our <laughs> platinum hit, but now I don't remember the lyrics. Ah, one hit wonder. What you looking at there? Found a cactus. Oh, look at that. Yep, that's a cactus. You thirsty? No. Okay. I guess I didn't realize that there were cac cactus, cac <laughs> cactuses, cacti, cac cacti <laughs> out here in Florida, but now we know. So we are already unsure of where we are. We're trying to decide if we want to travel back, walk back to the car and then head off to drive around a little bit or if we want to keep going and see where we are. Because we never did make it to Wilderness Point or maybe we did, I don't know. <laughs> maybe. I think we're almost to Dixie Lake. I want to go to this P or this I. What does the I stand for? It doesn't tell me. I don't, <laughs> I don't know. We do have a little bit of sunlight peeking through the clouds. Um, just a little bit. That's nice, but I don't know. I, there's just something about this place. You'd have to come here yourself to experience it. It just feels almost dreamlike. It's, I don't know how to explain it other than that. It just gives off this, this vibe of just, I don't know. I feel like I visited this place in my dreams before. It's very peculiar. It's pretty cool. I like it. Yeah. Yeah, it's really a nice walk. So I don't know why it took me so long to realize this, but are you are you expecting like a <laughs> snowstorm? What what are you wearing? My winter hat. I hate being cold. That's why we moved to Florida and it's cold. You look like you're ready to go skiing. Ski. Yeah. People over there probably like, what is this chick wearing a hat for? Like, you look like a tourist. <laughs> you look like you are a resident, but you look like a tourist. So this is interesting. We came across this and up front, we thought it was like a, a bird house or bird feeding station. But if you look, there is a, there's a picture of a bat on there. So I'm assuming. It's for Batman. It's for, it's, it's for Batman. It's the bat rocket. Yeah, not sure. But I guess with the picture of the bat, it's some sort of bat house or bat feeding station. I guess you do kind of see They've got like layered, I don't know if you can see that, but I don't know, it's like a layered kind of thing. I wonder if that's just kind of how they feed them. I'm not a bat, so I don't know what they enjoy. 
They enjoy insects. They like bugs. Around. So it's probably like some kind of like thing that like attracts bugs and then the bats come and come and eat it. I'm making this up. <laughs> Please don't take this as factual. <laughs> so we decided we've gone pretty far. So we're going to turn around and there's, there is a lot that this place offers and we want to make sure we see it all. So we're going to actually walk back to the car and kind of drive to some of the other points um, and then get out and film those and then drive to the next spot and get out and film that, you know, we just want to make sure that we capture everything. Hey, so the, the sunlight is kind of coming out. That's nice. So, so maybe, maybe you could take that hat off, maybe? Nah, well, it can maybe be my down to the 14 layers then. Yeah, you come down your 14 <laughs> layers and maybe take that hat off. All right, I'll take the hat off. Okay, take the hat off. Now we're driving through the park and we're gonna find some of the other trails to take and see if we can't find anything else to explore. So we found Lake Louisa, so we're gonna get out and check it out. You have a sun mask on. <laughs> and I took off my hat, because it's kind of warm now. <laughs> It looks like a lake of soda. Look at those colors. That is very unique. So back there is a warning sign that tells us not to swim with the alligator. I go back on our Clearwater, not Clearwater, on our uh, celebration, celebration video where there were signs up that said, don't harass the alligators. Well, now we have signs that say, don't swim with the alligators. Who in their right mind sees an alligator and says, you know what? I'm going to swim with that guy. A dog, cute dog. Hey, let's swim with the dog. Alligator, no thanks. No thanks. I love these kinds of like, these low hanging branches. That's just so cool. I just love that. I don't know why. It's just, it's like a nature's little tunnel way. But I have to say, this water is just so unique. I just don't know that I've ever seen water in a lake this color. It literally does. It looks like soda. It looks like a soda product of some sort. It's, it's, it's beautiful and odd, all in the same, same note. So now, we're gonna kinda explore these trails. The other trails, it's kinda cool. You've, it's, it almost feels like you're like in two different worlds. On one hand, you have kind of a, just an open, kinda parky kind of feeling. And then now this is more like a, uh, you know, you're right next to the lake. Probably what I'm saying right now makes zero sense. That's okay. I know what I mean. And that's all that matters. <laughs> <laughs> so it did say that alligators can be just on the trail with you. So that will be really cool if we can find that. That's like, what was it, bear? What was it, bear? Oh, black bear, wilderness. black bear wilderness. You know, you could find bears there and stuff. Um, we never saw them. So maybe we'll find some alligators. That'd be really cool. But just alone, I mean, this. Is just, this is beautiful here. This view is just so awesome. It's just different. Yeah, it's definitely different. I totally feel like if we're going to meet some alligators today, this is the place that it's going to happen. Because this is fairly off roadsy <laughs> There's a trail, but not much of one. And uh, yeah, we're gonna have to watch our step. Yeah, this is, uh, I love this kind of stuff. This is, this, yep, yep, this is adventure -y. This is definitely cool. We're kind of watching our step because there is a lot of leaf coverage and you know, you want to watch out, make sure you're not stepping on a snake or anything like that. Cause that wouldn't be fun. That would ruin your adventure pretty quick. I remember it. This this place re-inspired me. It went, I'm a jungle man, I'm a jungle man. Find an adventure wherever I can. I'm a jungle man. That's it. It's a song. What are you out? Why did you out? I got caught on a branch. Was it a branch or was it a snake? So if it was a snake, it would have bitten me. Maybe it was a branch snake. Ooh. We, are, we go for tons of hikes. 
and we were the most uneducated hikers probably in the world. Like, we know, like, nothing about things and wildlife and... We're total noobs at this. Yeah, we're, 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 we're probably not the smartest. We wear the dumbest shoes for hikes. <laughs> we bring no water. No water. But it's a nice cold day. If it was very hot out, we that would bring cool. water. That We're not that dumb. Now, one thing that I've noticed that seems to be a common theme in a lot of these Florida parks and things like that, heck, even in Celebration, they all have these little boardwalks, which, I mean, I get it. It's kind of how you keep the people safe away from the alligators and snakes and stuff like that. And they're actually pretty cool, too. They're fun to walk on. So we're... We're gonna push through this. We just ran into a couple and we asked them, you know, what's what's down here? And they they said at some point it just kind of stops off and you'd basically need a machete to get through. So I at least want to see that. I want to see <laughs> I want to see what we're running into. We we've left our machete at home, so we're out of luck there. But um, we're gonna keep pushing it forward and seeing what we can see. And this is probably what he was talking about. I mean. You could definitely get through there. Uh, and not that I would mind. I think I'd want to be a little equipped better with better clothing and things like that. So we're going to turn around and see what else we can find around here. started on the left side of the beach, um, facing the beach, we went to the left side. So now we're going on the right side to see if there is a trail worth seeing over here. Hey, Jill. Hey, what? Did, did you get any sand in your shoe? I did a lot. For, for the past like <laughs> five minutes straight, she's been complaining about the sand in her shoes. It's a lot. You walked through a beach. Where did you go? Okay, so when you get down here, I would definitely say if you want to go through there, you need a machete. I don't think that's really a trail. Um, but um, yeah, so here you just kind of come into this open area. Um, still pretty cool, but uh, yeah, can't really go any further. Eco lodges, I think, or eco tents. So I assume you can rent these, and they're supposed to be kind of eco friendly, which is kind of cool. Looks like there's like little yurt looking tents that you can rent. Here's one, they're kind of cute. This is just nice and big and open. Sorry, I didn't mean to bump you. Just nice, big, open, woodsy area with sand underneath our feet, which is, for me, strange. <laughs> I'm used to, well, most of the parks we've ever gone to is either gravel or some sort of pavement, and this is sand. Welcome to Florida. So so what is that, Jill? Do you have sand in your shoes? I have sand all in my shoes. Oh, wow. I, that's, I, mm. Mm. I've been hearing this all day. I definitely think I do prefer the grassy trails as opposed to the sandy trails. The sandy trails are cool. They're just a little more difficult to walk on, but uh, I bet you there's a lot of, a lot of these trails are for like, you know, you can get horses and ride horses and stuff here. Um, so they probably love that. They probably like the running on the sand, probably just a lot softer on their hooves. Oh my God. <laughs> Shoe number two. <laughs> Sorry. I'm... I mean, I feel bad now because, like, I have zero sand in my shoe. I, I literally have no idea how she's getting all this sand in her shoes. It's pretty funny, but uh, yeah. Sorry, I complained about that. I didn't realize. I didn't realize the level of sand in your shoe. I keep thinking I see movement often. Some of the areas I keep expecting to see like a deer or something, but then it's just. Just my imagination. 
So these are some of the horses that you can come and take out on a guided trail ride that they offer here, which is pretty cool. <laughs> I think that's about it. Um, I don't think there's too much more here to show you, but we wanted to show you this park and uh, it's pretty cool, pretty nice. Uh, if you're out here in the central Florida area, definitely recommend coming out here. Um, it's a good time. So uh, this is Adventure to Anywhere and everybody have a great day. Thanks for watching. What'd you find there, Jill? I don't know, it's kind of a cool little pine cone. Can you see it? Look at that. Pine cone. <laughs> In Florida. In Florida. <laughs>